So good morning, uh, Namaskaraya. So today we are uh, back together. I am happy you are here to see this video. This video I will talk about uh, the yugas. We all hear about yuga, but we honestly do not have a clear idea of what yuga is. So I will explain what is yuga and then how it is um, reckoned. Now we say. As per the Indian astronomy of those days, uh, definitely more than 2,000 years back, it was believed that the Earth moves around the Sun along with its uh, moon, and the Sun, along with all the planets and the moons, revolve around a grand center, which is can be today taken as the center of um, the Milky Way. And then it revolves completely like that. So it repeats. So it's a cycle. And then this center also rotates with a great, uh, great grand center, which I have marked here with a distance uh, shown as very large. This in Indian astronomy, this is called Vishnu Nabhi. Okay. So let us see this. Now it says, when sun is closest to this Vishnu Nabhi, we are of a higher intellectual development and civilization. And as we move away from uh, the Vishnanabhi, we become less intelligent and uh, a period of ignorance will set in. So what we now know is, Sun has already moved through the Krita Yuga which is 4800 years and uh, at this point it changes over to Dwapar um, Treta Yuga. So this is Treta Yuga. which is 3600 years, which we know is the period of uh, Sri Rama. From there, of course, Sun again further moves away from the Vishnu Nabi and after the 3600 years are over, it turns into what we now call as Dwapar Yuga. which is supposed to be 2400 years. Okay, And as it moves further and crosses, uh, finishes this 2400 years, it comes into uh, the period called Kali Yuga. Which is 1200 years. And then of course the sun will now go back on the ascending side. So this also will be Kali Yuga. And this is uh, the second uh, Dabra Yuga, ascending Dabra Yuga, ascending uh, Treta Yuga and ascending Krita Yuga. So that is how the sun moves. So if you show, see this, it totally takes about um, 12,000 years, total uh, movement from the, the nearest point to the Vishnadabhi to the farthest point, it takes 12,000 years. So 12,000 years, if you get to that 180 years, so then this will become uh, 18, uh, degrees and then of course next one would be 36 degrees and this will be 54 degrees and this is 72 degrees. So that would be the way we can draw this uh, figure and understand. Though of course uh, now we understand that Kali Yuga is only 1200 years and then it moves into another 1200 years which is the ascending side that is which is going closer to the Vishnu Nabhi. Now of course during Kali Yuga period when it was uh, being uh, thought about you know the though the book only says uh, 1200 years the interpreters interpreted it as uh, 1200 uh, Brahma years and that to make it uh, like that, they have multiplied this 1200 by 360 and it becomes 4 lakhs 32,000 years. So today most people take Kali Yuga as 4 lakh 32,000 years. Immediately what means is another 4 lakh 32,000 years is to be on the ascending side also. So two Kali Yuga comes together because it is a turning point. Now you know if you take that as true 
then what happens to this uh, 2400 years 2400 years will become 8 lakh uh, 64000 years that means rama lived 8 lakh 64000 years back which i believe is totally impossible and also modern archaeological studies show including the rama setu it is not that old it is maximum 5000 6000 years old which will definitely come into this uh, trayavika period see what presently uh, some calculations done by more inquisitive uh, uh, masters they have uh, agreed that today it is um, we have already come into the upper yuga and it is uh, 322 years so if you take that as uh, valid then you know 3200 years plus uh, uh, 2700 years and uh, 2700 plus 2400 years is around 5000 years so that comes to be correct more matching with the studies done by the modern uh, archaeologists further if you carefully look we are into dwaparaga for the last 322 years and if you carefully look see it is actually 200 years of change over period and 100 years into real dwaparaga that is our 122 years into real dwaparaga so if it is true then what is to be seen is that all the modern scientific development has taken place in the last 100 years and that evolution started around 300 years back for instance tycho brahe is doing the measurement of the position of planets magnetic field being discovered they all happened within the 300 years so definitely it is now a period of growth of the intelligence in fact you can see in you know modern world the progress is taking place so fast in scientific understanding and so on at least the material level now becoming more and more um, on the advancing side so this is so how it is going to the ascending side of uh, in the moment towards the vishnu navi so we have to understand this that we are now on the ascending side we have all opportunities to really grow intellectually grow mentally and to grow spiritually so we will all become more and more spiritually aware as years pass and though of course the change over period you will have some calamities and things like that which to only help to accelerate your quest for the higher levels of uh, life so that is what is happening so i hope now you have a reasonably good understanding of uh, the yugas i'll repeat it once more the sun moves away from the vishnu navi this vishnu navi is the great grand center of all the milky way is put together and in the sun within the milky way moves uh, around the center of the milky way and that movement takes it away from the vishnu navi so when it is closest to the vishnu navi is the most intelligent and spiritually aware period which is normally called the krita yuga krita yuga you are all highly advanced so we don't need a um, master to come and you know guide you or anything like that so further lowering of that uh, dharma and uh, you know knowledge or intellect is what happens in krita yuga there you know you can see some calamities do take place and so on and when it comes to the dwapara yuga you know it is a still lower level of intelligence and dharma so you can see even brothers quarrel each other and kali yuga of course um, even teachers do not help so even if it is done it normally the understanding is so bad because it always some uh, few people will be there like adishankara jesus christ buddha they all came in the kali yuga period we know very well so but then their influence of course has been very small and their their teaching also would be mostly mostly misunderstood whereas now those teachings which are available now has becoming more and more profound and people are able to understand that in a much uh, deeper level so all of you can now wake up we are in dwapara uh, yuga already and we have to now work hard so that our own progress is made faster so i do hope that you will share this video with uh, your friends and that uh, more people know about what uh, really yuga is and how this yuga can be use the to your advantage so with that i think i'll conclude thank you so much for listening please do share with others and uh, if you have any comments and questions please uh, do add to the comments uh, at the end of this um, video thank you so much